Google is flying high financially. It reported its fourth quarter results today. Revenue was up 26% compared to a year ago. So why change CEOs? Here's what Eric Schmidt said on the earnings conference call. I believe Larry is ready. You know, he's, he's been working on this area for a long time. His ideas are very interesting and clever. And it's time for him to, to have a shot at, at running this and doing it. And I'm sure he'll do a fantastic job. Analysts are reluctant to say Schmidt has done anything wrong. He has worked with the co-founders to make Google the dominant search engine and a giant advertising platform. He brought YouTube into the fold. But Google hasn't made a dent in social networking against Facebook. It has also stumbled trying to be a content distributor on TV. Analysts think that will be his focus in his new job as executive chairman. Maybe Google needs an uh, attic role more in Washington, D.C., maybe more competitive. Maybe Google has to play in the next 10 decades very differently. And, and clearly, it is also uh, you know, being in terms of you know, Larry Page's readiness to be a CEO. Page was enthusiastic about embracing his new CEO duties. Here's what he said on the earnings call. I cannot be more excited uh, about uh, moving us forward, and we're really only at the beginning. I just can't wait to get it started. Since Google will retain the same executives at the top, but with different titles and duties, the change isn't expected to be disruptive. But now, as CEO, Page will have to be more public, becoming the public face of a company instead of a behind-the-scenes creator of Google products. It's trying to break into other areas, like social networking. So uh, this could help. This is definitely what they intend to be a shot in the arm. The question is really whether Larry is going to be able to move the company into a new and, I guess, more dynamic direction.